Hey, what's up you guys? So when I thought about what I want to make on today's video, I was like, you know what? I could do a full day of eating. So I went back and I looked at my full days of eatings and I looked at other guys full days of eatings and I was like, you know what? My full days of eating suck. I feel like I'm not very good about sharing my foods and I feel really uncomfortable doing it because honestly, like the foods that I make in a day are seriously conducive and very particular to me. They're just weird combinations of um, Combination, com, is that a word? Combination. They're weird combinations of foods that I choose to eat that end up fitting my macros and work for my day. And the style of foods that I choose are usually based on whatever time of day it is and whatever activity is about to happen. So when I thought about why I should do a full day of eating, why you guys should care, is I was like, you know what? There are two things I could do that would be super fun. So the first one, as we go through this full day of eating, because I'm going to make this interesting and I'm going to make this helpful, is I'm going to explain each time why I'm eating the meal, why I'm choosing the foods that I'm eating, and how it makes me feel after I eat the meal. The other is we're going to take this back old school. We're going to make this interesting. I'm going to take this yellow legal pad and I'm going to write out my calories, my macros. We're not going to, no, we're not dealing with micros. Screw micros! Oh, don't, don't screw, don't screw micros. Micronutrients are very important. We're gonna take this, <laughs> we're gonna take this, potentially look up some of the foods that we might need to, but every time I choose a food, every time I choose a meal, I'm gonna write it down on this piece of paper. How does that sound? I haven't seen people do that in a long time. Everybody's using MyFitnessPal, I use MyFitnessPal. Anyway, I hope you are intrigued. If you are, stick around. If you like the idea, if you wanna try it, comment down below and you know, if. You know, if you're always, if you're down there, you could leave a like or something like that. Anyway, guys, let's get into this. Let's do it. Okay, so weird change of plans, my scale died. It's the most annoying thing ever, so we have to like estimate things out as I'm also having to write things out and estimate. So this is, this is really interesting, but basically as you guys can see, it's really simple. I actually wrote everything down. Yeah, that's meal number one, calculated it out. Took a lot longer than I thought. This is gonna be a really long day when it comes to food. I'm gonna hate food by the end of today. So as I wrote it all down, this is really annoying. Basically what I had to do with then, as you see, I had to go like subtract from my original number and the numbers that I had in that meal and try and see if I can figure out how much I have left. So this box, I am kind of deeming, I know that shadow, sorry, that's in the way. This box I'm deeming is kind of like, you know, the how many uh, macros do you have left? This basically shows me that I still have that many of each macronutrient left in the day. So yeah, we're on our way to Starbucks and I roped Marina into filming. I just realized what I did not do for the last meal, which I told you guys I was gonna do, and I'm sorry, was that I was gonna like explain what meal or like what foods I chose and like why. So I chose strawberries because strawberries are a lot lower in calories and because they're frozen, like they just mixed up really well on the shake. And then I went with my protein powder because I hadn't tried the chocolate protein powder yet and I obviously needed protein, duh. And so yeah, that was literally, that was kind of the rationale behind that meal. And now we're gonna go get coffee because everybody needs caffeine. Boop, boop. Duh. <laughs> so I honestly suck at Starbucks, like legit. Whenever I go to Starbucks with friends, I'm like, can you please choose what I'm gonna order? Cause I, I can't. I got what I think is a grande cappuccino with almond milk. And we're gonna see, because honestly, like I said, I, I can't order it to start with the same I don't know why, I just get petrified when I look at the, when I look at the menu. Awesome. <laughs> now I have to remember, it's like nine carb, three fat, no, six fat, three protein. I think that's what it is, so we're gonna write it down. I don't know. Oh, trying to figure out what to do. I was like, we can get something to eat. There's nothing to do. We go shopping. Shopping. In the mall. That's not like the other end. That's like not next to the theater at all. This is so weird when you have an off day for the gym, legit, like you don't know what to do. So, like, you know you have that come off the day, like you plan around it. Like you're gonna be like, I'm gonna eat this meal and like go to this meeting and like do this one thing. 
so that I can go to the gym at 4 o'clock. But when you, you're not doing that, you're like, I don't know what's, I don't know what to do with my life. So yeah, we'll figure something out. The struggle! I'm not super hungry, but I also like, I'm so used to eating around this hour that it feels weird. I'm, I'm super not. hungry. You're super hungry? Yeah. Marina's super hungry, so I we're am. probably gonna be something to eat. Alright, so we decided finally on Wendy's. We were fighting really hard, we were gonna go to Rice Bowl, but then apparently Marina's like, we can't do sushi. We decided on Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah, you can flip it the other way, right? Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> what I got was a small chili and a fountain drink, which probably will be like a diet drink. And I'm sure I'll steal some Marina's food. So, there oh, you go. Okay. I got the chili yeah, because I'm not me. super hungry, and it is low calorie. There you go. They tell me it's 220 calories up on there, so I'll go ahead and track that for now. If I had to guess, we're gonna make a prediction right now. I'm gonna say 220 calories. It's at 29 to 35 carb, four fat, 10 protein. I don't know. This is this is my this is my guessing game. So I guess we'll get to we'll get to track that, see if it's any good. A few moments later. So I finally looked at the calories. <laughs> okay. Marina's just dropping stuff all over the place. And we're gonna see how close. Actually, I was over. I looked it up, I think it's like five fat, 23 carb, and seven protein. So like, in my opinion, like these things are big. They're huge. If, like I said, I don't ever hear people talk about it, but like if you ever want like a good, satisfying meal, go with the Wendy's chili. Something interesting. Hello. Me do something interesting? I'm trying to calculate all this. I'm so cold. I get cold really easily. It's really annoying. And it's really weird because I have a chili. And then I have a drink, and the drink's filled with ice, so I'm like back and forth, like I'll eat the chili, and I'm like, this is really hot, like I need something cold to drink. And then like, I get super cold. And like, that's the reason, legit, I'm scared to have a girlfriend. Because... <laughs> oh my gosh, this fear is real, this, I have This is the reason I'm scared to have a girlfriend. I'm so worried of the day, she looks at me, and she's like, I don't want to hold your hand, it's too cold. <laughs> like, I'm just convinced it's gonna happen. I'm in the same boat. Now we are going to the wonderful, like legit, this is my favorite theater in the whole wide world. I don't think I ever have been or nor will I in a very long while will ever be to a theater that I love as much as this place. I didn't hit record. We just we just went through like a whole minute of review reviewing the music. Okay, so Marina never saw the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Never. So if you've seen like the volume two, you know at least in my in my in my in my opinion, it's really different from the first one. So I thought it was freaking cool. It was a lot sadder. Yeah, it was sad. There was there was so much emotion. Like I wanted to cry. And I, and I want a baby Groot. Yes, that's what Marina, I said. Marina, Marina wants to give up her dog and her horse and just get a baby Groot. Literally give up everything for Give up baby everything Groot. for baby Groot. So, so the movie's good. Out of, out of five stars, four? Yeah. I, okay, I don't know. Maybe if I become a movie critic one day, I'll have to get more serious about my rating skills. <laughs> okay, so we finally got home. It's like five o'clock. I'm really freaking hungry. So I'm gonna try and make something here. I'll calculate the macros, but I'm guessing this is about 100 grams of zucchini. We got mushrooms, lettuce, chicken, and burger, and if I throw anything else in there. So I just devoured that meal. I was really hungry, and the hamburger, I haven't had a hamburger from like a place like Wendy's or any other fast food place in a while. I had to look it up, but basically right now I've got to calculate all this stuff, so have fun watching that. <laughs> All right, so quick recap. Like I said, ate that meal six o'clock. This is all that we got there. And so I calculated it all up and that's what I got so far. That's what I have to eat in this day. And I'll check in with you at the next meal. We've, we were arguing about what we're gonna make for dinner. And I was like, it's time to make some protein pancakes. And I'm sure like, if you're on YouTube, you know how to make protein pancakes. But so many people I talk to 
I like, how do you make like protein pancakes? They're always thinking like there's some like specific recipe. It's like as simple as you go with like protein powder and eggs and whatever else you feel like using. Like obviously baking powder just makes things a little bit easier. I think, I don't know Marina, in case we decide to do something else, is do two scoops of the protein powder. And since we're, I'm splitting this with Marina, so like half of this is mine. We have two scoops of the uh, chocolate protein, one scoop of vanilla. I thought we'd throw in a banana. <laughs> Not some stuff. That's kind of, we got a carb source there. And then apples. So like chop the apple up and then four eggs. So that's two eggs per So yeah, we'll see how this works out. <laughs> And Marina didn't believe me. Look at these, they look awesome. They're gonna taste even more awesome. I'm just, so you know what, we're gonna even try. We got, all right, we have the half of the little, the little pancake. There we go, see? Good. These are normal. Normal people make these. It's dark, but we're just gonna watch the pitch perfect. Cause Marina never saw pitch perfect. Sorry, it's dark. All right, everyone, it's been a long day. It's been a lot of fun and interesting trying to write down everything I'm eating. It, it's so different than doing like MyFitnessPal because there you just, you logged in and it calculates it all for you. It lets you know like how many of each macro you have left, like what calories you're dealing with. It also makes like just the food database. So this helped me to realize like how lucky I am, how lucky we are that MyFitnessPal makes this whole thing of flexible dieting like so much easier. So I'm gonna help you give you a recap of what happened in the day and then how this last meal turned out. Okay, so the last thing you guys saw was us making those apple chocolatey pancakes. They were pretty freaking delicious. So yeah, we got that there. And then this was the what I calculated up for the ending macros. I knew I'd have to do that with the final meal. So I did. It actually worked out really well with yogurt, bananas, peanut butter, and a caramel crunch um, cereal. So that's basically what I made here. And then I just topped off with some sprinkles. The family's all home, but uh, I really got you guys like this video, the idea. I hope you find it interesting. Maybe you even want to try it. Like I said, if you do, comment down below. Love to hear how you thought about it. Anyway, I will catch you next time.